with the heat and frost insulators in uh, fire stops, what we do is we look at this building and we see it's going to go well up for 75 stories or more. Every floor has our signature on, that, on the deal. So we're going to do it correctly. We're going to do it to the point where it's going to be a safe building. Let me get another half foot. We're insulating the ducts. So if they're going to run cold or hot air through those ducts, they'll, it's going to contain the heat or the coolness to save energy. Energy conservation. I'm going to pull these pieces that he's cut and sent over for me. Yeah. And then I'm going to ask him to kick me the piece. Catch it. I line up my bottom pieces so they're nice and straight. He's going to shoot me wire from the other side. When it gets here, I call it two. I send it back to him. As I'm doing all this, I'll tighten up the rest of the duct and get my cuts ready for where I need to cut. This is the air conditioning vent. This is the main duct. And this is going to run hot or cold air through it, depending on what the customer wants. Yeah. Even though it may, be, may not look like it, everything has a certain order, everything has a certain purpose, it all has to be straight. We don't perform sloppy work here in the union. And that's what keeps us busy. Your return on investment is right there. You invest, we'll say, a couple of thousand dollars into insulating something. In six months, because the energy efficiency that you're going to create in saving heat loss, you're going to get that return on investment. And the ducts insulated correctly, the chill water insulated correctly, the hot, heating hot water insulated correctly. Everything's correctly insulated and sealed and running like it should. They can get their investment back within six months. This is my, like, my second family, so we got to make sure that we all come home. We all go home in one piece. So we got to make sure we can look out for each other. That's what we are. There's a union, there's a brotherhood. Let's go. Every sticker is a different job, different safety meeting for everyone. What you can see Miguel is doing here is, is applying a fire rated pad, from, uh, which is an intermessent pad. So what it would do, if there was a fire inside the box, the padding on the outside would actually swell up and prevent the fire from being inside the cavity and spreading out here into the stairwell. In the fire scenario, what would happen is heat intensifies the pipe, therefore melting the pipe. What our material is going to do is expand, close that pipe as fire is hitting it. So what you're going to have is you're not going to have any passage of smoke or fire passing through that opening, which is going to, in another case, start a fire in the next room or on the upper floor above. Two hour rated wall. What that means is that if there's a fire on the other side, this wall itself will hold for two hours and give people time to get out of the building. It stays only in that room and it gives everything time to enact. The fire sprinklers, the fire alarm, but the fire stopping is actually what holds it within that room. My company, which is West Coast Fire Stop Incorporated, we pride ourselves in our work our quality work, um, you know, we stand behind all of our work. Before this, I was working at a company making shopping carts for $9.15 an hour and uh, this opportunity came to me and uh, my pay went from $9.15 an hour to $18.20 from one day to another. I like what I do and I make, I'm, I feel like I'm making a difference in, in, the, in the case of an emergency that my job, what I did, prevented fire or, or something you know, from going wrong and it, my job was done. And my other job was just shopping cart. People buy car, food and put in their shopping cart. They didn't care about the shopping cart. And now what I do, I take pride in what I do. I got great experience now. You can right over. That's why our guys conduct themselves in a professional manner, follow the, the systems that are applied to each fire stop situation, 
because it's a moral responsibility. And we want to protect the, the project, the building, and most of all, protect people's lives. Overnight, I was working on a non-union job, and I got a union job, double pay, full-time benefits, and you cannot beat that with the baseball bat. Go union. For us, the fire stoppers of Local 5, our job to, to us as a whole is so important. Before it even happens, we know that the work we're doing is gonna save lives, protect the property, and that, that's a great feeling.